treating trichotillomania can basically be done from two major angles, through medication and through behavioral training. Reports of using medication as a standalone form of treating trichotillomania show a very low success rate. Antidepressants with serotonergic properties, such as those used for people with obsessive compulsive disorders, are among those most typically used for treating trichotillomania. Clomipramine, also known as anaphronil, being the most effective in these cases, left bracket, right bracket. This person must be evaluated by a medical professional. A full physical and diagnostic testing of hormones and neurotransmitters must occur. This patient must be evaluated for AIDS and a brain tumor. There are several diseases that are severe enough to result in very irregular symptoms. It is extremely important to be very aggressive in treating this disease. Amino acids therapy for this may be useful and could include 5-HTP, thenine GABA, and phenylalanine. Chinese herbal patent formulas may be considered along with Chinese liquid herbal extracts. Scalp acupuncture may be very successful. In treating this type of illness, it should be done with larger needles for this type of disease. Scalp acupuncture treatments last about 30 minutes to 1 hour. It may take nine treatments in order to see results. Laser therapy using a cold medical grade laser may work well on this patient. You may need several sessions of cold medical grade laser therapy before you see a significant change. This is mainly done by focusing on the person's childhood experiences and slash or any unresolved issues or conflicts that had initially been experienced during the early developmental stages of the individual's life. Treating trichotillomania with behavioral therapy, such as with habit reversal, training teaches the individual to monitor their hair-pulling behavior and begin to replace it with healthier habits. It is with this type of therapy that the most successes occur. Some alternative means of treating trichotillomania can include hypnosis and also biofeedback therapy. Pulling out eyelashes is a form of trichotillomania. This disorder sees the sufferer compulsively hair pulling or plucking hair from the body and head. The urge for pulling eyelashes or any bodily hair can begin at any time and is normally a symptom of anxiety and stress. As a result of this condition, the sufferer is left with no eyelashes or bald patches. Doctors will primarily prescribe drugs such as Prozac and Zoloft as treatment for trichotillomania. These serotonin uptake inhibitors have been proven to be effective in treating the possible cause of pulling out eyelashes that is a serotonin deficiency. For a trichotillomania treatment to be effective, there is a need for perseverance. There is no magic pill to take care of this problem as a cure, as the condition doesn't stem from a biochemical cause. There are medications that are geared to alter behavioral patterns, but this only creates a temporary fix if even a working one at all for the situation, only creating an effect while you continue to take them. This only seems to postpone the situation, not improve it. Needless to say, this isn't the most desirable course of trichotillomania treatment. Other means of trichotillomania treatment involve different types of psychological methods, which for the most part actually work quite well. Though according to each of these specific methods, they tend to work better for some than others. Still since this condition has its roots, not in biochemistry, but psychologically manifesting, as emotionally triggered behavioral responses, it is with the use of psychological methods of trichotillomania treatment that we can properly attack this problem at its source. The development of a universal trichotillomania treatment that works for anyone has had some recent breakthroughs using more archetypical psychological methods which have an effect on everyone. Putting these methods to use and applying these techniques with diligence, sufferers everywhere have been completely curing themselves of this condition and regaining higher quality of life. These techniques are a simple and well-structured plan of trichotillomania treatment, which usually takes less than 10 minutes to implement with effects which last lifelong. For a trichotillomania treatment to be effective, you need to attack the cause. There's no miracle cure all pill to take care of this problem, and that is due to the condition not stemming from a biochemical root. 
There exist some medications, which are engineered to change certain behavioral activities, however this merely produces a temporary fix, if indeed a functional fix, at all, for the situation. One should well know, that this only produces an effect, while you continue to take the medications, only seeming to postpone the condition, not improving it. Obviously, this wasn't the most prudent cause of trichotillomania. Treatment The onset of the symptoms is between the range of ages, from 9 to 14. Reports claim that more than 75 to 95 percent patients suffering from hair pulling disorder are females. The primary symptoms might lead to several other secondary symptoms, like depression or panic attacks. The main root cause of pulling hair disorder is still unclear. However, many people believe that it is a genetic disorder. There are several other people who believe that trichotillomania is a learned behavior thereby refuting its genetic basis. Trichotillomania or trick for sure simply means compulsive hair pulling from anywhere on the body. It is classed as an impulse control disorder, which means that many people find it very difficult to stop pulling. Pulling out your hair could be done from your scalp, eyebrows, eyelashes or anywhere else on the body. Many people who suffer from this condition will go on to develop bald patches. Although it's hard to stop, there are a number of psychological as well as physical trichotillomania treatment options available. Many doctors will want to provide drugs such as antidepressants to treat this condition. While it does help, some many do not seem to respond well to these drugs and would prefer to seek alternative methods of treatment. This is a good way of helping you to cope with the condition. It doesn't work for everything, but many people have reported a reduction in hair pulling after attending counseling for a few months. However, behavioral trichotillomania therapy reports show long term success rates of 90% or higher. This can include multiple means of therapy of both generally accepted and controversial types. Among the more controversial variety are the punishment procedural types of trichotillomania therapy, which can include mittens placed over the hands, topical creams used to increase pain, and even electric shock treatments. While these procedures are very intrusive, they are most often used with individuals who may be unable to consent, such as those suffering from serious developmental disabilities and young children. The more widely accepted forms of behavioral trichotillomania therapy, which reports the high success rate number mentioned earlier, are of the type known as habit reversal training. This educates sufferers more on this condition and teaches them to monitor their hair pulling habits while substituting them with more constructive, healthier habits. Some alternative forms of behavioral trichotillomania therapy can include hypnosis and the use of biofeedback mechanisms 